Okay, welcome to Shell Navigation. So, Shell Navigation is based on the concept of paths. Okay, so these paths specify what direction to transverse to reach a particular subdirectory or file, thereby going there and anywhere. Like, for example, now this is your Windows um, folder. So, just the way I will be entering my documents, entering different files like this. So all these stuffs we are entering our code path. Looking at this place now, this is part. This is a part from my PC to my desktop to this file which I named important. So that is how that is what part means. Okay. So that is what shell navigation. That is what the whole concept of navigation is about. It's all about entering a folder, entering a directory. Okay. And you, since we are dealing with Linux, you should note this in your mind that anytime you are hearing the word directory. We're also talking about folders okay so windows called the as folder linux called the as directory so they're still saying the same thing all right so shell navigation is based on the concept of parts now there's something called the root directory and the home directory and the working directory and we're going to see the difference very soon practically but let me just um orally focally explain what it means like the root directory now for example is the first directory in the file system just like in your windows the root directory in windows pc is is the c directory that is this part so this is like an example of the root directory in terms of windows okay so just like the starting directory where all your other files are inside so that's what it means so that is a root directory and in linux it is described as this forward slash here we'll soon get to that very soon now the home directory the home directory is the primary repository of a user's files and it is usually the directory in which the user finds itself when it logs into a system so whenever you enter your ubuntu terminal the first directory that it will take you to is your home directory um, we're soon going to, are going to look at that very soon and the home directory is also inside the root directory so don't forget remember that the root directory contain all the files that is in this system so the home directory is a sub directory within the root directory so now when we're talking about a working directory working directory is talking about the current place you are in right now like for example now using the windows as an example again so now i'm inside my windows c root directory so my working directory now is what is my windows c directory if for example i click on this android if you ask me now what is my working directory my working directory is this android so working directory is just talking about where exactly you are in at this point in time so which directory you are working on now i'm working on my android directory so that's what it means okay so that's the meaning of working directory so the path name the path name is the root we take along the branches of the tree to get to the directory we want. So I think that is where that is really self-explanatory. So all this stuff are like path names, like this Windows enter inside the Android. If I enter the end now, there's another path name which is Android Studio. So all these are like path names. Okay. So if I ask now, what's the correct working directory that are in? What will be your answer? Correct. So we are in our Android Studio working directory right now. Okay so that's what it means so we have two types of path name we have the absolute path name and we have the relative path name um was we are going to see a practical example of how to differentiate both of them okay but for me um the absolute path name starts from the root directory and leads to its destination why the relative path name starts from the working directory so now let me go to my ubuntu so i'm in my ubuntu terminal now and looking at this terminal well this is my username which i registered sign up with when i installed ubuntu okay so this forward slash here means the forward slash here means i'm in my root directory okay and there's a command called ls so what ls does is that it lists out all your files and directory so if i if i'm to type ls now and i hit enter it brings out all the directories that is in the root directory. So these are like all the directories inside my Linux system. Okay, so don't forget that Ubuntu is just like a virtual version of Linux since I'm using a Windows, a Windows laptop. So I'm just using a virtual version of Linux system. So just assume I'm inside a system in the Linux. Okay, so now I'm in my root directory and these are all the files that is inside that are inside my root directory. 
all right so the ls command what does it does it lists out all the files and directories that are in your working directory so i'm actually my working directory right now what is my root directory so the forward slash is simple to signify that we are in the root directory so the ls command lists what is inside that particular directory we are in all right so now for me to check which directory my working directory how can i check which directory i have in so i can use a command called pwd which stands for print working directory that's what it means so if i want to print my working directory if i want to print my working directory to see where i am i hit enter to show me the forward slash which is a sign of the root directory don't forget the root directory has this forward slash sign all right so that's how to know the current directory you are in so we're using the pwd command that's the print working directory command to check which particular directory we are in all right so we have one more good one or more command you will need to know that is popular which is what which is the cd directory i mean which is the cd command rather so the cd command what the cd command does is that it's change the directory that we are in so for example now i've found to enter inside my home this home directory here found to enter inside i will say cd which means change directory to home so now i can see i'm inside my home directory right now so i'm no longer if you ask now what is my current working directory what will be the answer my current working directory is in my home directory that's where i'm in so if i'm to really prove it that i'm in my home directory that's my working directory if i do pwd which is print working directory it should show me that i'm in my home directory and now what we just did here that is this cd home we did here is actually a relative part okay so if i want to do the same cd home in terms of using the absolute part what i'm going to do is that um, let me go back so let me just go back so for me to go back i'll say cd dot dot it should take me one step up of my previous place so i'm back in my home directory okay let me confirm to be sure you can see pwd where i mean in my root directory rather so i'm in my root directory so now i want to go to the same home directory i want to use the absolute method so using the absolute method means i'm going to say cd dot this one dot means um this one dot means we are in a working directory now which is the root directory so if i put a forward slash it means okay i'm in my root directory here and i want to go inside the home directory so if i hit enter it's take inside the home directory but if you look at this stuff it looks like stress and you know since we are programmers we don't we like something that will be easier shortcuts just to save time and energy so that's why um i always recommend the relative parts formats in writing your commands so it's very fast and easier that way unless there are some cases you may actually need to use the absolute parts okay but when it comes to a basic thing and to make it snappy you need to use the relative parts format okay so again, let me just go back again remember going back one step up is cd dot dot to take you back up which we are in our root directory so if i want to go back to my home directory i said we're going to say cd home to take me to whatever directory so let me not use home this time around let me use another directory here okay let me use this root directory there's a root directory inside here let's say cd root okay yeah it won't work because i'm actually in my ubuntu terminal and this is not like the sandbox if you are using a sand if you are using a sandbox it will it will work for you perfectly okay so since you're using the sandbox you won't be able to access this route because this route is just like a permission that is a permission that we don't access so anybody will download this ubuntu software okay but you'll be able to access it as the main user in your sandbox so just keep that at the back of your mind all right so um, let me just use another directory then let me say the media directory okay you can see now see the media which is this media directory so i'm in my media directory here like this all right so that's how it's that's how to navigate and time between folders and the likes so don't forget if you want to list what is inside whatever directory we are going to use ls to list it so we've listed what is inside our root directory here all right so i think this is enough information for you to understand how to navigate so we've learned how to list what is inside the directory we've learned how to enter inside a directory and we've learned how to check the working directory that we are working on all right okay so let's do something concerning this same list stuff 
So for example, so let me go to my home directory. So the home directory, there's a short way of going to the home directory. You can just say CD enter. To take it directly to the home directory. The home directory has this symbol here. So this symbol is a symbol for the home directory. So we're trying our home directory for us to check which directory we're in. So I'm going to use PWD to confirm that. So you can see now in my home directory and my username, which I can start with in Ubuntu, is the Lexis code here. So that's my username. So I'm in my home directory now. So I said for me doing this, remember I use the shortcuts here. I just type CD command and I hit enter. So if I want to do it to go, like if I want to do it step by step, what I'm going to do is that since I'm from my root directory, I'm going to say CD, looking at what is inside the list here, I will have the home directory, right? So I'll say CD home. So from the home, I'm going to say LS to see what is inside my home. So what's inside my home? We have Lexis code. So I went enter CD Lexis code. Okay, Lexis code. And it's enter. If I do LS to show me what is inside the Lexis code. So um let me say PWD. So PWD will show me my working directory. So you can see the same place we are in. So the faster way I did was just to type CD instead of going to this to these long steps. Okay, so just keep it, in, keep it in your mind that CD is a short command, like CD command and hit enter will take you directly to your home directory. There's also another alternative too. I'm just to clearly show you that. So I'm again back to my root directory. So if I should do something like CD and this symbol like this, you can see it has taken me to the same home directory. Okay, but just remember that for simplicity's sake, just do the same, just do CD enter to take you directly to the home directory. That's stress. Alright. So that's it about that. Alright, so since we are in our home directory now, now let's just play around a bit. And I will just I will code some things which using some command which you don't need to understand yet, but just for me to play around some certain things so you can see how some navigations are being made. So what I want to do now is that I would like to go to let me go to my should let me go to the root directory again. I think there will be I can use that to start with. So remember we said ls to list something. So we can also use a command called ls a. So what is ls a does this dash a is an option it's an option it's called like an option just like an added attribute to ls so what this dash a does is that it will list out any hidden files so since we don't have any hidden files here that's why it doesn't show okay so if there are hidden files for example it will surely show that there's an hidden file okay let me show you an example of a hidden file now so I'll go to, let's go to our own directory and play around with that in that place. So let's say, for example, now I want to create a file. I say ls. Okay, we have a folder already in my Ubuntu. So let me just go to that folder. So if I say ls, it will list whatever that is inside that ls for me here. Or rather, let me not mess up this. Let me go back. Let me create my own. Let me just create a directory. Oh, you may not understand that why, what this command means, but just follow up with what I'm trying to do here. So we okay, have another um directory now which is called test. So I want to enter inside the test. So I'll say C D test. So we're inside the C D test now. So inside the C D test, I would like to create two files. One of them will be hidden, the other one will be visible. Okay. So for me to create two files, I'm going to say let me create empty files. Let me say this file one dot file two. Um, actually, this is a touch command. Later, we'll, we'll talk about touch command and also this other command that I did here. But just focus on what I'm trying to explain. So now, I've created two files inside this. So if I do ls inside here, you notice it's only one file that I created, whereas it was two files that are inside this test directory here. So what happened is that this file, any file that starts with a dot, is automatically an hidden file. So for me to view that hidden file, I'm going to say ls-a. 
so you can see it will list both the normal files and the hidden files so you can see the two files we have here so that's how to view hidden files and the normal displayed files okay um another way of viewing this is that if i use ls dash la this one will just list the same thing it's just giving me more information about the files like this is the same l2 dot l2 the same l and file file two other this is the same file one okay it just give me some more information later we'll talk about what all this stuff means so just so that we can use ls dash la or ls dash a so this la the l means a long list so that's that this is form of like a long list okay so what if you just use normal dash a you're just having a normal horizontal list like this so that's just a little difference about them so to sum up this um push this part of our first introductory lecture um let me just add one more explanation in terms of a command called clear so if i want to clear or let's say for example my terminal is filled up and i would like to clear the screen okay so to just start afresh from again i can just use the clear command so I'll just type clear and I'll hit enter because it has taken me back. So I can do whatever I want to do again from the beginning. All right. So that's just how it works. So now if I want to go back to my good directory, which means I'm sure let's print out my working directory. You can see my working directory here. I'm in my home Lexis and I created this file test. So if I want to go back to my home directory, for example, that means I have to go. So the Lexis code first, then I'll go to the home next. So I'm going to say cd dot dot to take me one parent up. So I say pwd now. You can see I'm in my Lexis Lexis code folder. So if I say again cd dot dot to take me one up, one parent up, which is my home directory. So if I click enter, you can see I'm in my home directory. If I say pwd is in my home directory. So if I do again cd dot dot to take me to this root directory, which is this forward slash. So if I say so let me say cd dot dot again okay cd dot dot pwd you can see i'm in my root directory let's list what is in the root directory which is this so that is just these these are just how to navigate using shell all right all right so that's just it's about that so we'll see more in the other part of the lecture and just so you know just as you can use clear to clear up all of this you can also use Control L. So if I hold my Control key in my lap in my keyboard now, I will hold the Control and I will click letter L. So now what this does is that it doesn't really clear it. It just takes the page one page up. So for example, if I should scroll back up, I will see whatever I'm doing. Okay. So that's the difference between Control L and writing clear itself. If you are, if you are writing clear itself, it will clear it for real. So even if I scope, I won't say anything because I've already cleared you part of this terminal. Alright, so this, I hope you understand this very well. So see you in the next lecture.